Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new tool video in Maya. We're in Maya 2022 and uh, actually it's funny, I heard some people saying Maya. Uh, so I'm kind of curious what you guys call it, Maya or Maya. Anyway, we're doing another tool video. You guys seem to like it. And today we're going to be talking about the Create Polygon tool. Now, it's been around for a while. Uh, some people might think that it's the same as the Quad tool, but I can uh, tell you it is not. The Quad tool as part of the modeling toolkit up here, right, which is down here, the Quad tool, Quad Draw. What that will do is it will uh, allow you to draw or create polygons on top of a live polygonal surface. It's used for retopoing uh, stuff manually, right? And this is a whole different deal. So we're going to close out the modeling toolkit. Let's say you have a very uh, funky shape. I don't know, the top of a violin or maybe the bottom of a shoe or whatever you want to create. Yeah. So what you could do is you could go up to, um, uh, I think it's another, yeah, Mesh Tools, you create Polygon. We're going to hit the Option box. Let's reset it. Here you can choose the number of vertices you want per edge. And I'm going to leave it at default at one. Yeah. And we're just going to close that out. And I'm going to go to create polygon and I'm going to start to click around, right? Let's go to chop view. Let's say I'm doing something like, uh, I don't know, maybe um, a guitar or whatever. Yeah. And we're just going to start to click around until we have something that starts to resemble a guitar. Now, of course, this is not an ideal example and it's also very sloppy. I get that. But let's say this is a guitar, right? Okay. Now, as soon as you hit enter, you have a polygonal object, which is a plane, right? Now, in this case, you have the normals facing this way, and here it's black. We are going to extrude it, give it some thickness in a minute. But what you can do to avoid having this huge end gone is you can now go in to, uh, where is it? To mesh and then retopo, okay? We're going to hit the option box. I want a target face count of 80. Okay. Let's hit retopo. And you're going to get something like this. And that doesn't look bad at all, right? From here, you can just hit control E to extrude, give it some thickness. And there you have it, right? So you have no end guns. It looks clean and it saves you a lot of time. It's a quick and easy tool to use. Now, if you are not happy with the retopo, what you can actually then do is go into uh, mesh and then remesh, right? Or you can go in and fix it manually. So if you got funky shapes like this, it's an easy tool to use, okay? So yeah, let me know in the comments if this is something you have ever used, uh, whether you think it's useful or not. And I would like to know how you pronounce Maya. Is it Maya or Maya, okay? Okay, that's it, guys. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking out the video. See you guys next time. Bye.